welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about what is the best path of becoming a neuropsychologist. So without further ado, let's get started. So a lot of you guys have been telling me that you want to become a neuropsychologist and you're a student and you want to know what is the best university, what is the best way of pursuing this career. And sadly I don't have the answers for every single one of you. But I'm going to try to give you some guidance from my knowledge and hopefully will help you to understand what is the best choice for you to pursue neuropsychology. I would like to break it down into different categories depending on where are you at this point in life. So if you are a student in high school, I would recommend that to pursue neuropsychology, the safest and easiest way is to do a bachelor's in psychology. I don't think it's the only way to pursue neuropsychology because I didn't do that myself but I think it's the safest and in relation to many countries and the way it has been established in the world I think it's the smoothest transition from psychology to neuropsychology If you happen to be a student in the bachelor's that has nothing to do with neuropsychology or psychology I recommend you go and change to psychology or neuroscience In the end has to be really really linked to neuropsychology to be able to you know connect those dots and pursue that and if you are done with your studies it depends what you have done if you did biology maybe you can do a PhD in something that links with neuroscience and then goes into neuropsychology I don't know exactly all the steps but you have to see where you are at this point in life and what is going to enable you to do that I also recommend so many times that if you have an advisor in high school in school, in whatever, go to this person and ask them because this person is going to know your country better than I, I know myself because in the end every single country has their little intricacies and different ways of pursuing the same career so I think that's always the most helpful person, sadly not me, but that person so I really recommend you guys talk to someone that knows what they're talking about. And also something that I think you have to take into consideration, maybe you don't know at this point, but as I mentioned sometimes in the past, neuropsychology has two main branches as a career. You can either do clinical neuropsychology or you can do research in neuropsychology. So if you want to pursue clinical neuropsychology, I would reinforce that you start studying psychology. Because psychology is mainly Clinical. Of course, it has this part of research that you will be fine with it. Don't worry if you want to change from clinical to research. But if you feel like for you, it's for what fuels you in life is to be with patients in front of you and talk to them and get to know them, then I really recommend you study psychology first. If you think you're more of a scientific mind and you want to discover things and be in labs and get to know this career in a different side I don't recommend only psychology as a bachelor's but maybe a bachelor's that covers science and in particular neuroscience which is more of what I did so that way you're gonna get the perspective of the research but with a twist with the neuropsychological twist the reason why I recommend studying more science than psychology is because the basis of a scientist and being in the lab data gathering writing essays I think it's covered more in a scientific study than in psychology maybe I'm mistaken but from my experience it's what I've seen because I've been on kind of both sides of the coin and that's my understanding so this is what I would try to sum up and say what are the two things that you have to take into account where are you at this point in life and why do you want to pursue either clinical or research and from those two points I will try to see how I can get myself into what I want to pursue as a career and hopefully this video was helpful I didn't want to confuse any of you guys but I, I've been getting a lot of messages about it and I think is super specific to each and every single one of you and it's a bit hard to give you an answer that works for everyone but hopefully this clarify a bit the air if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below but bear in mind please that I am going to be able to answer every single one of your questions since I don't have the knowledge to know in every situation what is best for you guys in the end as I said earlier in the video talk to an advisor 
someone that is in the field in your country because that person is gonna tell you which steps are the best to follow. This is only my experience and what I've kind of seen from being in the field. Okay guys, that was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!